Good morning, everybody. This is Donald Bonda, Hall of Fame veteran, sports cards and collectibles, coming to you with our last episode, our last episode, episode number 12 of Looney Tune Tuesdays. All right, this again will be the 1992 Upper Deck Comic Ball Series 3. Part 2 of 2 of this last binder of our Looney Tune cards. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful start to your week. As I am glad the Pacific Northwest heat wave is over. I had my doubts on whether I was going to Kevin's Models and Moors here. I felt like yes, uh, this weekend we were in Las Vegas. <laughs> I thought we were in Las Vegas. I say, I saw, I say, I say, I saw a putty cat. A putty cat, <laughs> says Bipster. Silver Bullet, very fun set. Yes, it is. If you missed all our other episodes, feel free to go to my playlists and you can see all the other episodes that we did in this series. And Bipster says, hello, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's right. All right, so we have 10.02. As soon as 10.03 hits, we will move on to our next item at hand here. Uh, da, 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 da. Does anyone else like a good breakfast casserole? I can get, can't get enough lately. <laughs> a breakfast casserole. I like breakfast casseroles for sure. Did you sunbathe, sir? No, my, I do not do good in the sun. I would turn like like beet red. I would turn beet red. Breakfast, not breakfast. Yeah, I kind of fi figured that's what you meant there, Big Ray. Um, but we do have just a second here. As soon as I see the first 10.03, I will go through and find out our first in the live chats. There we go, Bipster of all things good and godly. Let me get a refresh here. The free early bird two-minute entries are complete. So let me scroll back really quick and see who we've got here at 10 o'clock. So we got Big Ray. Big Ray. Big Ray's got one, two, three, four. I think Big Ray has maxed out with his five free entries. And let's see, the Bipster. Let me check the Bipster really quick here, see how many he's got here. We got Big Ray, yeah, we got more Big Ray. Okay, we got Big Ray, five, Bipster. And Bipster has one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure Bipster probably got in his five. I'll make sure my next scroll. We got Silver Bowl 30. <coughs> Excuse me. Silver Bowl 30. Has got one free entry so far. Let me scroll down real quick here. Here's the 1003. Yes, Bipster did get his five in in time. Silver Bowl's in here. I know I saw Kevin. Where'd Kevin's go? Let's see here really quick. Hold on a second. Yeah, take care of this here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I was wondering, I was, thought I was getting a little feedback here. Uh, let's see. I know Kevin was up here earlier, right? Where did I see the Kevin? There we go. Kevin's got uh, one, uh, two, three, four. Kevin got his five. Okay. Kevin's models and more. Got his five entries for early bird in the chat. Silver Bowl 30 has gotten two. 
complete in the box has got to I'm going a little bit more in case you haven't figured it out complete in the box has got to and da 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 one two see silver silver bowl 30 has three and I believe that gets everybody that showed up I decided to go to the first five minutes at a last minute channel choice send some rain to Vegas we're in a drought here out <laughs> loud you're always in a drought Kevin <laughs> All right, so let me get these free entries in here. We still got four minutes before our content at hand. So we're going to finish off this binder, the second half of this binder, with the rest of our Comic Ball Series cards. And then, time permitting, which I think we probably will have time, I've got one or two family mail packages to go through. And then after that, we will do the Bipster Box, as always. There you go, Silver Bull 30 says, I just did the rain dance for you, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so let me go over to my Wheel of Names and get our entries in here. Okay, and as I do on occasions, the early bird chatters from before the live stream that showed up early before I even went live, you all had free entries too, just so you do know. Okay, so let's see. I can get the Bipster right here. Oh, wait a minute. I could probably go Bipster and Big Ray in one fell swoop here when they got their fives all the last time down. Copy. Okay. There is those ten entries. Bipster and Big Ray. Okay, so I got Gipster and Big Ray. Um, let me go back here real quick and get Kevin's models and more. Let me get Kevin's and models more. Five entries into the Wheel of Names for the month of June. Okay. Hopefully everybody again is having a good start to your week. I'm glad today is much better than yesterday. Yesterday was the last day of our our heat wave. It got up to 108 in Arlington, Washington yesterday. And that was way more than I wanted it to be, that's for sure. Okay. Well, let me get this fixed really quick. Now we've got Kevin's models and more in for five entries. Let me do uh, Silver Bowl 30 for three more entries. Silver Bowl 30. Okay. Copy and paste Silver Bowl. Bowl. Silver Bowl. Why is that a tongue twisting type thing to say? Silver Bowl 30. Right. I've got you in here three times our Silver Bowl. And now i got to get complete in the box for two entries. Complete in the box. I'm trying to remember if you have any entries in here yet complete in the box. I don't believe you do. So just to be safe, I will just type it in. Okay, so again, now that I've got all the entries in here, let me save where we are right now. So with one day left, tomorrow will be our drawing for our prizes. Um, the Bipster says, I'm back. Frogger quest complete from the mailbox. Oh, you played Frogger getting across the street to go to your mailbox there, Bipster? <laughs> all right. So we have 452 entries.
for the month of June. Uh, I have trouble with some words too. I struggle with the name Arnold Palmer. Laugh out loud. Smoking guacamole 108. Hope that doesn't hit Midwest anytime soon. But it's probably inevitable. <laughs> Sorry, you are big, right? I wouldn't wish it on anybody, that's for sure. I mean, we can go east to the mountains and they get the triple digits over there all the time. But they choose to live over there. So, uh, for us, on what we call the wet side of the state here in Washington and the Pacific Northwest, that is boiling, that's for sure. So, we are glad today it's only supposed to get up to a high of 86, I believe, which is plenty for me. Anything above 90 is... <sighs> the water turns on from my body, I think, and just says, oh, we got to get out of here. Let's go have fun with our friends. We need to water the plants. Something on that line. But we do have 10, 12. Sorry I did get over a little bit. It took me a little while to get all those names in there. But again, you'll have some more chance to get some entries into the end of the month giveaway when we get into the Vipster box. So I got those taken care of. Um, give you a little update for tomorrow. We will be previewing the Tops 19. 1983 baseball card set. That is one of my newer complete sets I have in my collection now. And then, uh, so other than that, let's see, uh, it was raining earlier as tropical storm went overhead. Uh, I'd take a tropical storm up here any day to have a little bit of rain for our free rain for our garden instead of us having to pay to, to water my garden. But that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get ready here. Let me just get this semi sort of opened up here to our first section of this part of our stream here, which is the first part for the Looney Tunes. Well, you know what? I was wondering. Well, I guess that works if I can read, and I think I can read the comic strips. So I think I'll leave my light off, and it'll feel a lot cooler in here. That is for sure. So we're going to get ready to go into this Comic Ball 2 series here. And we will have fun. Tony Gwynn Rookie is 1983. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll do seven. We'll do... The, the Bipster says, stop the show. Seven Bipster packs to of fun today, please. Yes, we will do seven packs of Bipster Babies today. Seven packs of Bipster Babies today. There. Is that okay there, Bipster? I moved it one millimeter, roughly. Okay. So we're going to go through this set one page at a time and go and in, in normal fashion, hold on, let me get things rolling here. Oh, did I close that out? I should have left that open. I don't know why I didn't, didn't do that. Okay, hold on. Okay. Kind of started off right for our last episode. All right. 
Just had to do that one last time. I did it as my intro today. Just wanted to pop that one in there for you really quick. And we will get ready to rock and roll now <laughs> with our Looney Tune Tuesday 1992 Upper Deck Comic Ball Series Part 2 of 2 for our last binder and our last episode for the series. This comic strip is entitled Eye on the Ball. So Eye on the Ball, it looks like we have Marvin the Martian here. Here we are, Doc. Smart guy, that Jim Abbott, asking me to coach. Welcome to the first annual Martian Fantasy Baseball Camp. I wonder if they play on artificial grass here. Greetings, Earth creatures. Welcome to the first annual baseball camp on Mars. Let's play ball. Okay, before we play ball, you must get into shape. What? Listen here, bub. I didn't travel... 50 zillion miles to do sit-ups and wind sprints. Oh heavens, we would never suggest anything so primitive. This is the Botatron 2000 Physique Modulator. It compacts six weeks of intense spring training workouts into three seconds. Please step inside. Okay, okay, I'll go first. Let's get this over with. Now what? Now press this button. Hey Marvin, hey Bugs, hey Jim. Oh, hello Mr. Abbott. I was just demonstrating the physique modulator to our new guests. Bugs looks like he's in pretty good shape already. I'm a strict vegetarian. Yes, perhaps you are. Right then, let's proceed to the practice field for some coaching, shall we? What? Says Daffy as he's in the modulator. Then, of course, we do have the warm-up of Paul Abbott here. All right. So we do have the warm-up cards here on the back that make a puzzle. So the, the, a lot of times these nine cards that, when they're put together, make a puzzle picture on the back. So we will do that and show the backs of the cards also. So as we continue on with our comic strip here, I think I've got it kind of figured out where I need to put the binder when we do move things up and stuff. Okay, so we will continue on here. I think I've got everything good to go there. So, oh dear, I suppose it has been longer than three seconds, hasn't it? Uh, let him out and bring him to the practice field. <laughs> As a pitcher, I always want a good defense backing me up. Let's see how you guys handle ground balls. This is definitely artificial. Toif. So, this is what it feels like to be in shape? <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball, Bugs. Look, an artificial carrot. You have to keep your eyes on the ball. Let's see how you handle a fly ball. It's a fly. It's a fly. Of course, silly, he said. He was going to hit us a fly ball. No, I mean a fly. A Martian fly. I gotta run, Bugs, but I want you want to leave you with this. Gee, thanks, Jim. Oh dear, oh dear. I think Jim Abbott's trying to tell me something. He gave him some glasses that look like baseballs. This is despicable. So that ends our first comic strip. And on the back here, of course, we've got um, a Daffy Duck. And I'm trying to think. It looks like some type of a robot. We'll probably see that in one of the slides coming up. <laughs> but interesting there. All right. So as we go into our next comic strip here, this one is called Big Game Breakdown. All right, so big game breakdown. Welcome Martian and Earthlings type baseball fans. The final game of the intergalactic series is about to begin here on Mars. As coach of the home team, do you have anything to tell our fans? Disintegrating Daffy Duck's Earthly team would be lovely. Huh, 
What does a Martian know about baseball anyway? Nothing. <laughs> I do believe you are right. That is why Ken Griffey and Ken Griffey Jr. and Jim Abbott are on my team. You don't stand a chance against my modern technological big league three, a DX3 dash 6A. If it's the same DX3 dash 6A, I think it is. I traded it to light years ago. That was pretty stupid, bub. But once again, someone else's mistake is to my benefit. He, there you have it. Marvin's men versus Daffy's machine. The baseball battle of the universe. Hmm? The big game breakdown. And we've got that, that robot that Daffy talked about. Or Clank, Buzz. Seems like he's got some bugs to be worked out of his... That looks like a modern technological trash can on wheels. Does it cook hot dogs too? <laughs> Says Ken Griffey Sr. All right. So there we have, we've got Ken Griffey Sr. with the Atlanta Braves with Sylvester there. <laughs> Sorry, I got a sneeze coming on here. So just be patient with me if you can. Hooey. Sorry about that. <laughs> I told you I had a sneeze coming out. All right. Big game breakdown continues here, but can it handle my fastball? I need not remind you that I've programmed the DX3-6A to hit a grand slam with any pitch and zip home with lightning speed. And so... Abbott's got the wind-up and the pitch, and it's bzz, clink, whir, whack. And the DX3-6A hits a grand slam over the wall. What are you doing? You're supposed to go home. Did you hear me, you stupid robot? Go home. Yeah, he's going home, but it's not the home that, Silva, that Daffy thinks. It's my understanding that when a home run is achieved, the logical next step is to run home. And then Bug says, I figure that the Earth being 49,044,370 miles away, Daffy and that pigeon of a robot should be home in about a month. <laughs> All right. Moving on to our third comic strip, but this one here we do have. I think that's one of the chipmunks there or something. I can't remember exactly what that cartoon character is for sure. But we've got Ken Griffey Jr. smiling in that picture. That would be cool. I haven't seen that set big, right? Uh, a Clifford the Big card set also would be great. <laughs> All right, so our third strip here is called The Winning Scheme. So let's see, we got Ken Griffey Sr. there with, uh, with Elmer there. Let's see what Coach Fudd is up to, shall we? Um, assembling the greatest group of all stars in history to defeat that screwy wabbit. Behold, I've signed up the best free agent from the best teams in the country, the Pirates, the Blue Jays. The Pirates, of course, is Yosemite Sam. The Blue, Jay, the Blue Jays is the Roadrunner, the Cubs, a bear himself, the Tigers, with Sylvester, oh father, really? And Sylvester's son. And the Dodgers, Speedy Gonzalez. Then we have that scene from the robot launching into outer space to go home with Daffy in tow. They probably haven't made it back to, to Earth yet. <laughs> All right, so. As we continue with the winning scheme, the Astros, Marvin the Martian, the pa the Padways with Porky Pig, 
Then we've got the winning scheme and the twins from the Minnesota Twins. Let's see, Mr. Wabbit, top that. The winning scheme. Crunch, 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 yike. The winning scheme. You, pretty impressive lineup, Doc. You'd better believe it. And that team's have you built. Ah, uh, just one. The winning scheme. The Giants. <laughs> Bugs Bunny's got a team of Giants. And they do have the name Giants on their jerseys. <laughs> All right. There we've got the comic strip on the back here with Ken Griffey Jr., of course, and Bugs Bunny. Ken Griffey Jr. and Bugs Bunny. Okay. Uh, it was more fun when we did open up the packs in the earlier editions, I think. Just going through the cards and finding the card, but now seeing them in order as the sets makes it even more fun. So in our next comic strip here, we've got Every Duck Has His Day. Every Duck Has His Day. We've got Daffy Duck here. Come on, coach. Put me in the game. And Abbott says, not yet, Daffy. Hmm, the famous Jim Abbott, what does he know? Tell you what, this game needs Daffy Duck and more Daffy Ducks. Oh, let me take a nap, says, says Daffy. Stepping up to bat for the Mariners. The one, the only Daffy Duck. He's dreaming, of course. Pitching against him for the Angels is Daffy Duck. The Angels outfield Daffy Duck and Daffy Duck and Daffy Duck. And, of course, I'm your announcer. You know who? Daffy Duck. And there's the pitch right over the plate, too. And we'll see what happens here next. And there we go with Abbott and... Elmer Fudd getting his lineup done. Miss Southern Bell is in the house. How you doing there, Miss Southern Bell? Thanks for joining us today, this Tuesday. And I am glad that the heat wave has finally gone away. I feel like a normal person again, finally. All right. So then we've got every duck has his day. Hold on a second. I think I... Got to silence my phone. All right, and it's a hit. I got it, says the three Daffies, and they all crash into each other. Wake up, Daffy, I'm sending you in to pinch hit. It's about time, thanks, coach. You won't regret it. <laughs> roll, roll, roll. Crashes into the bucket. Good thing this team has only one Daffy duck. <laughs> and there we go. It looks like they finally made it back to Earth with that dastardly robot and Daffy Duck. And Abbott's out there throwing some balls around and catching it with one hand, clanking, whirring, rolling along. And we go into our next. I think this might be our... I think this is our last... Uh, comic strip. Yes, and then we go into the seventh inning stretch. So base in the hole. Thanks, the Victor. Hey, Miss Southern Bell. There's Miss Southern Bell's link for those that might not be on board Miss Southern Bell's bus. Make sure you check her out and check each other out in the channel. So we've got nine people watching, ten thumbs up. Don't forget to give me my thummies up, thummies up almost two double digits. So we've got Ken Griffey Sr. here. Watch Clyde. I'll show you how and when to steal base. That Clyde must be Bugs Bunny's son here. No thanks, Mr. Griffey. I'm waiting for my Uncle Bugs. He's the expert on everything. Out of the way, you don't need this galoot nor any lop-eared excuse for a ball player. When it comes to big leg larceny, I'm the champ at this here camp. Eat my dust. 
And then, of course, we have Bugs Here I Am Clyde comes out of under third base. Or Clyde, hmm. Must have taken a wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> All right. Then, of course, in this slide here, we've got Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, speaking with Marvin Martian, but I don't know what Marvin Martian's planning on doing with that laser gun pointed in the direction of Ken Griffey Jr. unless he's going to give him that, that superpower that he always had of <laughs> uh, being an awesome ball player. That's for sure. So he says, hey, come back with that base, man. All right, I'll settle for second. Hmm. Nope. Slide. There goes third. That makes it a triple. Now Uncle Bugs is headed for home. Dig, 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 dig. Stop, you thieving varmint. Sam's going to beat Bugs home. Ha, huh, I beat. Youch. What happened to home plate? Is this what you're looking for, Uncle Bugs? Thanks. A complete set. You're right, Clyde. Your Uncle Bugs does know how to steal bases. <laughs> All right. Then we get on to our last slide here on the back, of course. Isn't a puzzle piece, but a, just a compilation of the different puzzles within this set back here. All right. And then we do get into our final slide presentation here of the end of the set. We've got the seventh inning stretch here with Ken Griffey Jr. and Sylvester getting a pie in the face. From Ken Griffey Jr., we've got the seventh inning stretch here with um, Abbott and his looks like his kids probably with the Looney Tune characters. Then we've got the seventh inning stretch here with Bugs Bunny. We've got another Abbott here with Porky Pig there, and then we've got uh, Ken Griffey Jr. with the Rooster, uh, Abbott with Marvin the Martian. And then Ken Griffey Jr. with uh, the bear and Pepe Le Pew, the skunk. Woo! And the seventh inning stretch with Ken Griffey Jr. again as they're trying to hold him from making it around the bases, I'm assuming. All right, and that ends with the checklist of this set and ends us out for our Looney Tune Tuesday 1992 Upper Deck Comic Ball set. And if I can get a big amen from Bipster, we are now finished with, we are all finished with the Looney Tune Tuesday set. So I can put this back over here in the stack with the rest of my Looney Tunes and file that away until we do a replay at some time in the future, maybe. You never know. But other than that, um, hopefully you all are having a great day. Big Ray, just some good old boys, never meaning no harm. <laughs> Deck the halls with holly and trim the tree. I'll try to think Bipster's doing Christmas in July or something this year. Uh, when I see a Silver Bowl 30 and this Southern Bell in the same chat, for some reason I get the Christmas mood and can't get the song Silver Bells. <laughs> I like that. Silver Bells out of my head. Silver Bells. Silver Bells. <laughs> Clyde played electric bass with finesse and grace. Who remembers that song? Thank your lovely kindness. All right. So hopefully you are good with that. Um, let's see. Let me, why don't we do this first one since we, it is only 1035. We'll get into one of my uh, family mail call packages here. This one is from uh, Ethan, from Ethan's Elvis Covers and More. Uh, this was, I believe, if I remember right, I bought into one of his sales. And so uh, we'll go through. I'm trying to remember exactly what I got, but sometimes he does throw bonus stuff in there. Being a Patreon for him. I don't know if it's close enough. Probably next month is probably when I get my Patreon. I'm pretty sure he sent me a June Patreon. 
already. But let's see what we've got here. Not much. I don't remember getting a whole lot of cards from them. But we will see what we get here. And then I will put this, take this blue tape off real quick. So that way, yes, I will use the blue tape again. Very well. Sometimes I do. I do build up piles of used envelopes and stuff, and then sometimes I just never use them. I'm pretty sure I definitely probably got some some Seattle Mariners in there, because that's Ethan knows I like getting my Seattle Mariners from him. It's sometimes better than just going shopping for packs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go through some of these. Yep, we do got some in here. We've got some Seattle Mariners. Let's see who we got in here in this one. We got an Evan, Evan White rookie card. We got a Kyle Lewis outfielder card. We've got a D. Gordon from Top Stadium Chrome. Um, we've got a Felix Hernandez, future Hall of Famer. We've got a Felix Hernandez with the Mariners, a J.P. Crawford for the Mariners. But my Kyle Lewis will go in my Kyle Lewis collection. So that's an awesome pick there. Let me uh, get this Kyle Lewis into a penny sleeve, a top loader. I've got all my Kyle Lewis's top loaded in my Kyle Lewis box. So that is awesome there. Let's see, what do we got here? Some more Jared Kelnicks. We've got another Jared Kelnick from Bowman. Okay, another Jared Kelnick. Another Jared Kelnick. Alright. Put those there. As you can see, I do get uh, let's see, my alphabetical card set, I'm on all the Alvarez and Andersons now. Alvarez and Andersons. Oh my word. Bipster. Um, but we got the uh, Kyle Lewis here with the top's finest. I do like that one. I don't believe I have this one yet. So that's a good addition to my Kyle Lewis collection. We've got an Edgar Martinez. Edgar Martinez for my Hall of Fame collection. He is a Seattle Mariner, but it goes into my Hall of Fame collection. Got a Kyle Lewis Donruss 2021 Statue of Liberty. No, I do not have this one for my Kyle Lewis collection. Okay. Then we've got a Edgar Martinez Finest Masters for Tops. And we've got a George Kirby with the Mariners, a Emerson Hancock with the Mariners, and we've got a uh, Ozzy Smith Hall of Famer, 70th patch. That'll go into my Hall of Fame collection for sure. Then I did get a uh, Justice Sheffield for my Justice Sheffield rookie card collection, Bowman Sterling. 21 out of 150 autograph. Cool card to add to my auto rookies. And then a short print for the tops. Uh, 2021, this is series two. Ty Cobb. That will go into my uh, Hall of Fame collection with my Ozzy here and my Edgars. All right. So, a whole bunch of Mariners that I did not have, for sure. Let me set these off to the side here. As we go through that, that was nice to get those cards from Ethan. He's my go-to man for trying to get Seattle Mariners that I try and collect. Alright, and so next, this I believe is someone from my Facebook people that follow me. Wes Rife, and if I remember right, I'm trying to remember where he, he's from. He is from 
Greatville, Texas. I never, I have never heard of Greatfield, Texas, but awesome, 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 awesomeness for sure. And we will see what. Okay, I see the way he did this. Kind of like folded over. It must have been a bigger. Uh, we'll just do it this way. Oh, I hear the trash man's in the neighborhood. I think he already cleared our trash can. He must have had to come back. Or it's probably the yard waste guy. It's probably most likely the yard waste guy. I think the trash man came by earlier today. Okay. Oh, wow. That's one different way of uh, repackaging a product, that's for sure. Or packaging an item. I've never seen it quite done this way before. In a plastic bag. In a... Throw that one there. Hmm. Oh wow. It's bagged again. For sure. Can't remember if he said he was going to send this, or sometimes some of my people that I know just kind of send stuff my way. Let's see. Oop, I think this might be a. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, okay, I see. He's not a blue tape fan, he's a scotch tape fan. <laughs> he's not a blue tape fan, but he's a Scotch tape fan. All right. So now I've got. I'll fix those later. I'll take the tape off later. <laughs> all right. So let's see. This one's in a team bag at least. Should have just team bagged them all. Would have been a little bit better. I think the. He might have sent me some Ken Griffey Juniors. Might have sent me some Ken Griffey Junior sweet sweetness here. Uh -oh. This one looks like it's kind of team bag, but then it's also I guess he protected it with the top orders, right? There we go. I'll work on those top orders to see if they're salvageable later. Ooh, here we go. I like that Ken Griffey. Let's see what we've got here. These look like these might be easy fixes for my Ken Griffey Jr. sort boxes. <clears throat> but let's see what we've got here for Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Donald, I just got an ad for hair growth products on your channel. Hair growth? Really? Oh my word. Hair growth? A uh, hair growth product, huh? <laughs> I don't have no problem growing hair. It's just my wife likes me to just cut it off because she don't like to see my white hair. She'd rather see no hair than my white hair. You can kind of see it. There's just very little color on my mustache. I'm so blessed my landlord purchased a new fridge yesterday. It worked so good. It was hard to sleep. House was quiet from no old fridge sounds. Oh my word, Bipster. You, too, you got too used to all the old old fridge sounds, huh? Looks like some of these are penny sleeve and some of them aren't. Let's see if we can separate the penny sleeve from the non-penny sleeve here. Let's let's look at some of these Ken Griffey Juniors here. So we got a uh, 2000 Diamond Anniversary Home Run After Dad Ken Griffey Jr. We've got a uh, Pacific Paramount 2000, Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> he must have just left the old stickers on there from back in the day. Wow, can, if all my Ken Griffey Jr. cards were $2 a piece, that would be awesome. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to keep these, so I'll just take these off for now. 
I don't like when people put price tags on there on the penny sleeves. I know that I know it's easier to just do that to <laughs> guess he figured I'll just send these Ken Griffey Juniors to to Don just the way they are. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I've got this victory set for sure, but these are nice looking cards. These victory cards. Oh, there we go. The Dream Team Ken Griffey Jr. The Dream Team Ken Griffey Jr. That's oh, not a penny sleeve. We've got uh, 1991 Ken Griffey Jr. 19, uh, Fleer 1992 Ken Griffey Jr. 2001 Franchise Futures, Ken Griffey Jr. and Adam Dunn of the Cincinnati Reds. Ken Griffey Jr. Classics, 2001. Ken Griffey Jr. 2002 Tops. I like that one. don't know for sure if I've got that one or not. I'll find out when I finally organize my collection. Ken Griffey Jr. 1990 Flare. Ken Griffey Jr. Fleer, Platinum, 20th Anniversary. Ken Griffey Jr. Night. No, that's just got to be a throwback card. He didn't start till 1989, but Ken Griffey Jr. Originals. What year is this one? 2002 Don Russ, throwback card. Then a Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, not penny sleeved. Ken Griffey Jr. Checklist card. Awesome. Not penny sleeve. Not penny sleeved. Ooh, that's a nice flare flare card there. A Ken Griffey Jr. Best of the 90s silver silver signature. An ovation Ken Griffey Jr. for the Cincinnati Reds. I think that's when he got traded to the Reds. Ovation Ken Griffey Jr. again. And then the Ken Griffey Jr. with the Cincinnati Reds Fleer tradition. Looks like I've got more Ken Griffey Juniors to add to my collection. Okay. So let's go through these ones here that aren't penny sleeves. I'll get them in penny sleeves later. Oh, boom! Oh, my word. That's a nice one. I was not expecting that there, buddy. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., uh, 19... I think it's a 1995 flare. Um, MLB All-Star Game from 1992. Uh, score 91, the franchise. Dream Team Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. with the Cincinnati Reds. I remember when he first got traded to Cincinnati, I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to collect any... Cincinnati Reds cards from Ken Griffey Jr. And then he did the ultimate to finish his career. He did come back to Seattle. So after he did that and then retired as a Seattle Mariner, in my eyes, he was redeemed. <laughs> in my eyes, he was redeemed. So I, I started collecting the Cincinnati Red cards too because he did come back. So I do have quite a few Cincinnati Reds cards and I do have there was only a couple because he was with the White Sox only for a very short time. And then he returned to the Seattle Mariners, which I thought was kind of neat. So he did play for, in the majors, he played for the Seattle Mariners, the Cincinnati Reds, the Chicago White Sox, and then back to the Seattle Mariners, which he retired as a Mariner, which made our days in Seattle, that's for sure. So that was nice, that. Um, the All-Star Game in 2001, Ken Griffey Jr. The Ken Griffey Jr. Fleer 1994. The Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, the Leaf Set 1993. Then, of course, uh, Rookie Stars. Ken Griffey Jr. with the seed. Well, he wasn't a rookie while he was with Cincinnati, but I guess they were doing some Rookie Stars throwback cards. Ken Griffey Jr. for a score 92. Ultra Fleer 95, Ken Griffey Jr. All-Star Game. Then we've got the uh, Score All-Star Character, Ken Griffey Jr. from... That's a 1992 score set. 
Then we've got the Ken Griffey Jr. from the tops. Uh, what is this set called? MB. Gipster, what's this one called? He, he was with the Diamondbacks for a very short time. <laughs> Those deserve a bell ringing, sir. Oh, a bell ringing for all these Ken Griffey Juniors? <laughs> Bell ringing for these Ken Griffey Juniors. There we go. Um, so, what is the, the TOPS MB? What's the MB stand for there, Bipster? I'll hold that aside while Bipster comes back and enlightens us on that one. So, the score 1996, Ken Griffey Jr. And oh my word, we got a bat relic here. Oh my word. <laughs> Uh, he pitched one game also, two-thirds of an inning. There we go, seven. So we got a bat relic here. Game used bats. Bat around. And they're all, all pretty good players. We've got Sean Green. <laughs> there we go. Uh, sorry, this Sean Green staying in my house though, because it's got Ken Griffey Jr. and then it's got Sammy Sosa, and then it's got Pat Burrell. So that must have been. I know I don't have this card. That's for sure. This is a uh, 2002. You have received a game used bat trading card from the Upper Deck Company LLC. On the front of this card are authentic bat pieces used by Sean Green, Sammy Sosa. Ken Griffey Jr. and Pat Burrell in official, official Major League Baseball games. We hope you enjoy these pieces of MLB history as we at the Upper Deck Company continue to keep you as close as you can get to the game. That is awesome. A four bat relic piece with one of them being Ken Griffey Jr. My oh my. I don't know. Is that fit enough or fit in a regular top loader? I think it might. Yes, it will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, this Sean Green does not go to Kevin. Sorry. Sorry. This Sean Green and Sammy Sosa and Pat Burrell stays with Ken Griffey Jr. in the Ken Griffey Jr. collection. But we do have another, oh my word, he stuck all these relics near the end in the back. Uh, authentic support center swatches for the Cincinnati Reds of ESPN. Outfielder, wow. This is cool, he, he looked like he stuck all these relic pieces in, in I think this is thin. These are not really thick relics, so I think. There we go. Nice sports swatch there for. This is a uh, 2005 Upper Deck product. My word. And then. This next one here, oh my word, there's another one still. Faces of the game. Ken Griffey Jr. with the synth. This one's a little bit thicker for sure. I'll have to try and find a thicker. I'm going to put some thicker top ones in here. I don't think I have any in my, in my bin here. I got some more. Oh my word. Hold on a second. I gotta get a few uh, thicker top loaders here, real quick. Oh my word! I gotta get some some thinner top loaders for sure. I need a couple in here because I have, gotta have something other than nothing. It's too thick to go into. Uh, 
into a smaller top loader, that's for sure. So I'll just put it in this thicker one. I gotta get some ones. There, that one goes there. Faces of the game. Flare Ultra from uh what year is this one? Looks like 2007. And then our next one here. Oh my word. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. Upper Deck Superstar Slam Game Used Memorabilia. This one might go in a thin one. It's got a little S swatch there. I don't know why it's... Oh, the Super Slam. I guess it's because it's a Super Slam. Let's see if this one will go into a regular top order. Yeah, I think it will. I think it will. My word. <laughs> that is, I'm definitely increasing my, my relics. And then this next, oh my word. Piece of the game, game used bat by Ken Griffey Jr. of the Reds. This seems like the similar one, it is, the same similar series that I got. Uh, J, I had one of these for Jay Buhner. I'll show you in just a second here. Of Jay Buhner, of course, he Jay Buhner does through the mails, and I think I did something for. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember who it was now. Uh, but he wanted the Jay Buhner done with through the mail, and then I got it, sent it off with my bat piece for Jay Buhner. Let me set this one right here, and let me get get you the the one I did through. Uh, Oh you, th oh, you think that's a bat knob? <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me get my, my Jay Buhner pieces of the game. Yeah, I think this is the same one. So I sent this one off to, I don't know if I can get it for, that would be awesome getting it, getting this one for Ken Griffey Jr. done. This is the one for, uh, not Jay Buhner, John Olrude, who started out with the, the Blue Jays, I believe, or was it the Expos? One of the two. But John Olrude for the Mariners, piece of the game, game used bat, and I asked it if he could sign right under his name there, and if possible, in blue ink, and he did it in blue ink for me. That was awesome. So I'm pretty sure this is the same series here for this upper deck, for Ken Griffey Jr. But that is awesome. Yep, J.O. John Olrude, and K.G. for Ken Griffey. That is awesome. We're going to have to send him something. I was not expecting this much to add to my collection, but it is nice. You, I am surprised with our baseball card community for sure. So let's see. That will go here for now, so I can put that back. Now I'm going to put it back on display now, so I don't forget. So I don't forget. There you go, John Oliver. I'm going to have to see if Ken Griffey Jr. will eventually do through the mail. I don't know if he will. Uh, let's see, who do we got next here? I think, oh, might be the end. Upper Deck Legends. Legendary Lumber for Ken Griffey Jr. of the C Cincinnati Reds. This is a... Is this a 2001? I'm trying to think. Yeah, 2001. So let me get this one in a penny's leave, and I believe it's small enough to go into a regular top loader. Yes. Legendary Lumber. Da -da 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 -da. You received a Ken Griffey Jr. game used bat trading card from the Upper Deck Company, LLC. On the front of this card is an authentic piece of game used bat used by Ken Griffey Jr. in an official Major League Baseball game. We hope you enjoy this piece of MLB history as we at Upper Deck continue to keep you as close as you can get to the game.
upper deck. Oh, they were actually in Carlsbad, California. Interesting. That is. Wow, what did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six relic cards. My word. And next here. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe 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 Kevin's just <laughs> I don't know what maybe Kevin's just having some fun in the channel. But we've got uh home field advantage, Ken Griffey Jr. with the Seattle Mariners. Then we've got Ken Griffey Jr. with the nineteen ninety five Pinnacle Swingmen. We've got the Ken Griffey Jr. Respect with the Ultra Flair from uh, 1996 insert card. Then we've got a Ken Griffey Jr. MVP card for Contenders All Star Game in 1996 in Philadelphia. Then we've got a Topps Gallery Ken Griffey Jr. Awesome card there for and a Ken Griffey Jr. Classic Baseball from 1990. Ken Griffey Jr. Ken and Ken, Gr Ken Jr. Griffey with Bowman. So this is like a combo card. Back in 1993, it shows uh, Ken Griffey Seniors. I believe that's Ken Griffey Seniors. So this is a Ken Griffey Jr. or Ken Griffey Senior card, but it has Junior on it. So I would do the same thing. I would put this in my Griffey collection because Ken Griffey Jr. is on the card. And then a checklist card for 95 Pinnacle for Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, top Stadium Club uh, League Leaders, Ken Griffey Jr. A Ken Griffey Jr. 1994 Don Russ. A Ken Griffey Jr. with the Cincinnati Reds Fleer Genuine from... Um, You're hiding in there somewhere. 2002. And then a Don Russ 1992 American Lake Ken Griffey Jr. All Star card. Nice cards for sure. Did Bipster ever respond on that? Ichiro played for Diamondbacks also. Kyle Lewis will also soon. <laughs> All the players leave from, from Seattle and go play for, for uh, for uh, for Arizona, right? Like Randy Johnson did back in the day. He left from he left from Seattle and went to Arizona, and then became a star player for them in the World Series. <laughs> he put those king. Wow! So those were two awesome family mail call packages for sure. Let me get a little bit more light in here. Open the blinds here. It's getting a little bit. But it's not going to be heat wave warm, I don't think. You know what? I do have, I got an eBay purchase I had the other day. But no, oh, wait, that's right. I already sorted that into the boxes. I don't know why I did that. I should have shared that in the channel, too. But that's okay. Um, that's why I said a very short time, as in never. <laughs> there you go. Kevin's just... Hopefully you had a good trip back east. You you went back east, right, Kevin? And you're back in... Are you back in Henderson now? You still on vacation before you go back to work or something? All right. So we are going to get ready to do. Oh, I gotta move this stuff, don't I? Let me move this stuff without making a mess here. I got all. Oh, by the way, just in case anybody is here, um, I'll put myself in a timeout. No, you're fine there, Kevin. You're fine. Um, so 
all my packages from the sale except for Bibster. Bibster, I'm still going to be getting your package packaged up and I will probably be sending it out this week sometime. I'll touch base with you before I do that in case I find some other stuff to add in there. I do have a package I'll be getting ready for you, Kevin, to, to get sent out here pretty soon in the not so distant future. And we, I, we got to try and find out from Kevin when he's going to start doing some, uh, some, uh, some content. That's for sure. Wait, that's right. I want to put this pack into my Griffey collection here somehow. I'm goofy sometimes. Um, Yes, we're back home now. I'm in the office. That's why I'm, I'm sporadic in the chat. I keep having to run off to meetings and such. Oh, no problem, Kevin. Understand. I didn't know if you were at home or at work. or and I know some people do watch at work, which just, just be on the sly, okay? I don't want you to get in trouble from work just to watch me on YouTube. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so I'm going to get this ready real quick. We are going to, again, pull out seven num numbers from the Bipster wheel. Oh, let me get an update. i got to make sure how many Bipster packs we've got left in the box. We've got 37, so if we do seven today, we'll have 30, 11, 30 left. Okay. I'll adjust that later. So we're going to do seven packs. So uh, let's see. So 37. So we're going to have numbers 1 through 37 in the Bipster wheel. So let me get the Bipster wheel ready here with 37 numbers, okay? Let me get that really quick because it's only 11 o'clock. we got plenty of time to go through seven Bipster packs. Um, let me get uh, this one opened. Okay. What the heck happened there? I got some dirt on my phone. It's because it was so I was so sweaty yesterday trying to do some things. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and open the Bipster wheel. Open the Bipster wheel. Uh, go down here, and we're gonna erase, leave 37 numbers here. So we've got 37 packs left. It'll be a little bit easier to see the numbers now because they'll be a little bit bigger. There we go. Now you can kind of see the wheels probably. I'm going to do it that way. That way the camera is not right above the the stream there. Okay, I'm going to get this up here so we can shuffle them. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and don't do anything yet. I'll tell you how this is going to work. I'll tell you when you can put your numbers in for your bonus entries into the monthly giveaway. Okay, now I think you can see the numbers 1 through 37. 1 through 37. So let's see. Let me see how we want to do this today. Okay. Oops. Okay. So commence to put your entries in now. Choose seven numbers, seven different numbers, seven numbers from 1 to 37. Seven num so your chances are better of getting the, the right numbers out of what we do. 
Okay, so choose seven different numbers between 1 and 37. And we will end the, the free, the, the, ent the guesses for the entries at 1113. At 1113. Because we've got, what, seven people watching unless all, now we got eight people watching. 11 thumbs up. Appreciate that. So let me get this ready real quick for seven, seven packs, right? So let's see, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven packs, divide this in half, this will be for the stars, this will be for Hall of Famers, and for those that don't know what's going on, if, if your number that you choose, I think everybody's probably been here before, Baseball Card Illustrated, how you doing? Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Webster, what do you do? Oh, good luck all. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people entered so far. And as soon as we got 11.13 on the timer on, our, on the clock, if you're on a computer, you know what time it is. This is all computer-driven time. So as soon as my computer says 11.13, the last guess, if there is one at 11.13, will be the final entry. So the, that gives two people two minutes to get their guesses in. 2, 5, 7, 24, 6, 7, there we go. 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six people have guessed so far. We do have 11.13. Bipster says thumbs up, ready to go. Let's do our refresh. No further entries for this part. So, again, I'm going to shuffle the deck seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, oh, let me turn the sound on. Turn the volume up, make sure it's up. Hopefully we get the sound effects this time like we should. Okay. Still Looney Tune Tuesday. This is my music. <laughs> They're flippers, Jimmy. All right, number 28 is our first number. 28 is our first number. Did anybody guess? Let me see. Let me get my screen here lined up. Okay. Uh, did anybody choose 28? Cards in my car with our Posada cards got one got one right so again if if you get all seven guesses correctly you'll get five bonus entries but of course if you get all seven you got seven plus five you get 12 entries into the giveaway okay so we will remove number 28 since that one is done now we will uh, shuffle one more time and spin the wheel for pack number two. That's right, cards in your car, you guess number 28. Boom! 24 in honor of King Griffey Jr. 24 is our second pack. Anybody get 24? Baseball Card Illustrated. 
and cards. Oh my word, cards in your cars on a roll, two for two. And baseball card, B, I'll call you BCI. BCI, Baseball Card Illustrated, got a free entry into the monthly giveaway. Okay, so we're going to move, move number 24. Cards in your in my car with our Posada is two for two. I'm going to shuffle the deck one time, and let's spin for pack number three. Here we go. Yeah, baseball card illustrated and cards in your in my car. Our Posada. Twenty-six is our next pack. Did anybody choose twenty-six? Nobody chose 26. No winners on pack number 26. Let's remove it. Shuffle one time and let's go for pack number four. Pack number four. Pack number 31. Wait a minute, wasn't that... What was Ken Griffey's Jr.'s number with Cincinnati? Was it 3 or 31? Or maybe his dad was 31. I can't remember. Exactly. I gotta look at the cards, right? Probably on the cards it might show is his uniform number. But let's see, did anyone get number 31? Big Ray. Big Ray got 31. Okay, Big Ray, and my word, cards in your car. Cards in your car. He's got three out of four so far. My word, cards in your car. There we got <laughs> 31. My word, you got three out of four so far there cards in your car. My, my word. So let's remove that 31. Shuffle the deck. And let's go for pack number five. My word. Cards in, cards in my car are with our Posada is on a roll. Get three entries so far out of four possibilities. Card number, or pack number 15. Anybody choose number 15? I don't see a 15 in there. Okay. So we will remove number 15. Shuffle the remaining numbers. And another spin. For pack number 6. Pack number 17. Pack number 17. Did anybody guess 17? Base BCI got it. BCI's on BCI has got another entry into the monthly giveaway. Coolness there, BCI. And then anyone else after BCI? 17. My word, Cards in My Car has got five or four. One, two, three, four out of six. My word, 
cards in your car. You are my word. Oh, don't feel bad. My wife didn't get any of her guesses yet either. <laughs> Let's take number 17 off the wheel. And our remaining numbers shuffle up one more time. This is for pack number 7. I did pick 17. Yep, BCI and cards in my car with our Posada. So time for pack number seven. Pack number ten. Pack number 10 for our last pack. Did anybody choose number 10? Bipster got one. Bipster. Bipster got one with 10. I think Bipster was the only one on that one. So Bipster was not blanked. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, Let's see, what do we got? Cards and, let's see, cards. Got four. Uh, BCI got two. Uh, Big Ray got one. And, uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, 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 cards. Three, four. Uh, BCI got two. Hipster got one. Big Ray got one. So, cards in your, cards in my car with our Posada got four. BCI got two, Big Ray got one, and Bipster got one. So let's get the three entries in here really quick. Okay, so we've got uh, Big Ray and Bipster. Let's see. Um, Right, so I've got uh, Bifter, Big Ray, uh, let's see, baseball card. Well, let's see, uh, let me go back here. Dun, dun, dun. Baseball card illustrated has got two. Let me get your two entries in here BCI. Right, so we've got uh, two for baseball card illustrated, and then four cards in my car with our Posada. Okay, where's cards? I know he was in here. used to be able to just go all the way up to the top for for cards. There's cards in my car with our Posada. Alright, so he got four. Alright. All the way to the bottom here, cards in my Car with our Posada. It's got four. That was a three spot I had up there. I could copy and paste and let me get the last one in here. All right. Paste. We are at 460 entries. 
So we got to see how close we'll get after we do part two here. The finale is coming soon. Uh, we just picked all the packs there, Jay. We just picked all the packs so you can get in for the very last part here. Let's close that up. We're done with that device. I can move this out of the way real quick. I can put this up here. I think the wind will blow it over. But I could be wrong. Let's see. Yes, I think it'll withstand the wind. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to pick the. We're going to pick. Get the packs out of the box. We're going to get our packs out of the box. Let me get back into the chat here. Back up to the live chat. McFly, use the almanac. <laughs> All right. So let's see, we got pack number 28. Whoops, wind's trying to blow it over. Gonna have to uh, relax it a bit. There we go, I think that'll work. Um, 24. 24. And 26. 31. Um, 15, 15, 17, and 10. So yeah, most, well, tomorrow all the packs are going to be in the front because we're going to have 30 in this row because I'm pretty sure I can fit those remaining packs in here. So it does not matter here. Let me just pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's our seven packs we're going to open here. And I think we will be at, well, about 30 packs left in the Bibster box. 30 packs left. So I'm going to update my total here for next round. As the Bibsters are coming to an end after this box. So it will be 30 Bipster babies left in the box as we wind down. 30 Bipster babies left in the box. Now we'll go through our preview to see, give you your sneak peek, kind of like a, kind of like your your uh, coming attraction sneak peek. We've got uh, Jose Urena, got a David Cohn. We've got a Nolan Ryan. We've got a Joe Necro. We've got a Don Sutton. We've got a Lloyd Wainer. And we got a Willie Adamas on that side. Just so you get your little sneak peek. 17 to 31. <laughs> a little bit less than the guest there. I see two numbers I would pick. Oh, 17 and 31. Gotcha. Gotcha. That, that uh, came up, huh? So we got Jose Urena, David Cohn, Nolan Ryan, Joe Necro, Don Sutton, Willie Adamas, Lloyd Wiener. On the other side, we've got Mickey Lolick, Greg Maddox, Dwight Gooden, uh, Gooden and Clemens, Cal Ripken Jr., who Cal Ripken Jr., um, Trevor Bauer, and Greg Maddox again. Okay, so now for our next... Uh, hold on a second there, Kevin. Uh, well, no, okay, you can leave. Um, what, we changed it a little bit differently than you were probably here last there, Kevin. Um, you do still choose whether you want stars or Hall of Famers for whoever we're going to have the most cards. But our second part that we added into this is for bonus, just extra bonus entries at the end. So again, stars and Hall of Famer, just hold off. Don't nobody put anything in. Kevin, you already got that. That's fine. You can add your other total in here in just a second. But um, 
what I need you to do is to choose, and we have eight people watching, 12 thumbs up. All right. So I'll kind of keep an eye on when we got maybe all the guesses in, if everybody puts their guess in the chat. But the next part, of course, again, will be stars and Hall of Famers. But you can choose a number of how many stars and how many Hall of Famers we might pick. Okay. This has nothing to do with the first part of this two-phase part for this last part of the stream if I'm making any sense to you guys or gals <clears throat> but so you had your seven your 14 card preview seven on this side and seven on the other side okay so just choose stars or Hall of Famers and then um, so I'll assume if you put it in there stars 79 Hall of Famers 68 like Big Ray put in there and uh, are you choosing he must be choosing stars so as long as I know what you're choosing for your first part stars or Hall of Famers then the two guesses for the stars and the Hall of Famers whoever gets the closest for each one with whoever's the closest it can be over or under either way but whoever guesses the closest gets another bonus entry if you if you're if both of your guesses are the closest you would get two additional entries. So go ahead and put your guesses in here. Let me get my wife's in here. Uh, Michael Heath, yes, you can. You can still pick as long as, and we will end the picking for your choice by 1135. 1135. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time here. Oh, let me hit the enter this time for my wife's choices. All right, I, like I said before, she's always going to choose Hall of Famers for most cards, but Hall of Fame 77, Stars 66. Just like uh, Silver Bullets got uh, Stars 64, Hall of Fame 68. So six, so the Hall of Fame would be his guess. Michael Heath just says Hall of Fame. And yes, if you do put make an error up there, you just want to change it or something. Uh, what's, what happened there? Silver Bowl 30-30, 64-68. Uh, yeah, with Silver Bowl, you didn't put in there um, exactly how you wanted that to go for sure. So I'm thinking that might be. So Big Rays on the top will be the first one we'll base everything off of. And then, uh, okay, there you go. That's fine. That's fine. There you go. So, uh, Star 64, Hall of Famer 68. That means six. Uh, your Hall of Fame pick would be uh, Hall of Fames for the most cards. That would get you your first entry. And then, yeah, 64 and 68 for Stars and Hall of Famers. So whoever gets the closest for the Stars guess would get a, a bonus entry. Whoever gets the closest for the, the Hall of Fame guess would get a bonus entry. Okay. So let me catch this right. We're guessing the number of stars and Hall of Famers, and whoever gets the closest wins, right? Um, well, you'll you'll win a free entry. Uh, so you need to choose whether the Hall of Fame entry, Hall of Famers will get the most cards, or the stars. And then on the guesses, you can guess how many Hall of Famer cards and how how many star cards. And then 
whoever gets the closest for the numerical guess will get a bonus entry. Okay? I know it's kind of, kind of confusing a little bit, but whatever guesses you want to put in there, that's what we'll work with, okay? And that's only one guess per person for the most Hall of Famers or stars. Uh, the Hall of Fame number so you could technically get three entries in two if you guess the right numbers and for Hall of Fame or stars to end. Okay, so as soon as I see the first thumb, if I see, I just need one thumbs up in the chat and I'll close the guess. Oh, there you go. Bipster did it with his lurking eyes. Okay, the entry process is now complete. Okay, so let me scroll back up to uh, Big Ray. Where's Big Ray? There's Big Ray. So when we get these all finished, what I will do is I'm going to put these aside for now, and unpackage them all, and put them in a big stack on the table here. Okay, we are all good then. Sounds good. I hope so. It'll take me a little while to go through because it looks like there, there, there's only seven people watching, but I do see plenty of extra entries for, uh, I think, part of the confusion factor of the whole process is my guess. But then again, this is just for fun. So I don't want to hear so much arguing and things of that nature, but it's just to be fun and give you free entries into the free giveaway. But remember, like my rules have stated for starting this month and the month of June, when we do the drawing tomorrow at the end of the live stream, you do have to be present to win. Okay? So every prize that gets drawn will make sure, and if that person is not there, um, you you can you can win more than once. You can win more than once, or one prize, I should say. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I gotta look on my about me tab and see exactly what I put in there, for the most part. We've got a few more packs to go, three more to go to get all the cards up on the table, so to say. Get all the cards up on on the table. Okay, two more packs to go here. You can probably see me pulling them from down here. <clears throat> All right, last pack to put up on the table here. Right, so we've got all our packs up here. We've got all of those up there. All right, and we will commence to going through the cards and seeing if we get more stars or Hall of Famers. I'll just grab a handful each time, and we will go through here. Okay. So Don Sutton is a Hall of Famer. Ray Dandridge. Dandridge is a Hall of Famer. Hoyt Wilhelm. Hall of Famer, Jerry Reed, just my Seattle Mariners card, Clint Zavaras, Clint Zavaras is a star. Again, if it's not a Hall of Fame player, we consider him just for this content on the channel as a star, because if you made it to the major leagues, you're some sort of star, you made it out of the minors into the majors, so they thought you had some worth. Some may not have been bigger stars than others, same bat time, same bat channel. For tomorrow, yes, it will be. Starting the stream at 10, and most likely, I would guess about 
No niche is when we might be ending. Get ready to do the, the drawing, but just check in periodically throughout the morning would be the best bet. Uh, Garnet Blair, Garnet Blair is a star player. Armando Vasquez, uh, Napoli, Mike Napoli, uh, Josh Beckett, Jose Abreu, Robin Ventura. Oh, is that stuck together? No, it's just a tick card. Uh, Robin Ventura, Bartola Colon, probably a future Hall of Famer, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, Paul Molitor, Paul Molitor, Paul Molitor, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer, Henderson's a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Yep, Ricky is a Hall of Famer. Dwight Gooden, star player. Dwight Gooden. Okay. Oh, that, there you go. I am on Pacific Standard Time. So, yes, so 9 a, or 10 a.m. will be 1 p.m. on the East Coast. All right, Clemens and Gooden. Ozzy Guillen. Ian is not. Fred McGriff. Fred McGriff. Uh, Jack Clark. Dwight Gooden. All right. Joe Maurer. Manny Ramirez. Um, who we got here? Manny Ramirez. Pedro Martinez is a Hall of Famer. Don Mattingly, star player. Mike Schmidt is a Hall of Famer. Then we got Jose Canseco star, Joe Maurer star, Jose Canseco, uh, the, the, the Eugenio Suarez, Mark Grace. How'd we come up with a Mark Grace card? We gotta set this guy aside. Mark Grace goes in a separate pile for sure. We just scoop these over here. Just so you do know. These are the Hall of Famers. Looks like the stars are taking the commanding lead thus far, and no, you can't change any of your guesses. <laughs> There's a rated rookie. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I forgot to pull out my... Didn't I have some Seattle Mariners? Yeah, I had some Mariners back here, right? Got our Mariners, our Mark Grace. Those are star cards. These are star cards, and we'll find a space here when we get to uh, any of my star players. Daryl Strawberry, Strawberry is a star player. Uh, Spencer Howard, rookie card. Ozzy Guillen, star player. Mark Grace. Oh no, we just need a lot of grace there. Uh, what's that? No, 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 no. Un uh, Clark, underrated, but I'm a Cards fan. I thought, um, <laughs> man, I can't type. I know them Giants fans think so as well. Uh, Joe Negro, got Cal Ripken Jr. Put my Cal Ripken Jr. here for my Cal Ripken separation. Daryl Strawberry, star player. Mark McGuire, star player. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Dawson's a Hall of Famer, right? Yep. And then Jose Canseco, star player. Not Grace, we just need lots of Grace. Robin Yount. Lee Smith. Mike Schmidt. Errol Baines. Barry Bond, star player. Fred Lynn. Cecil Fielder, star player, Greg Maddox, Alan Trammell, Don Mattingly, star, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer, Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer, Jim Rice, Jim Rice, Hall of Famer, Ozzie Smith, Smith, 
Ozzy Smith is Hall of Famer. Did I miss an Ozzy Smith earlier? Hold on a second. No, I didn't think so. Just making sure. You guys, I'm sure, will correct me. George Brett, Hall of Famer. Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Nolan Ryan, Hall of Famer. David Cohn, star player. Um, Trevor Bauer. Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer. Joe Maurer, star player. Mike Greenwell, star player. Andy Van Slyke, David Cohn, and Will the Thrill Clark, and Buddy Bill. All right. Next up to bat here is uh, Eduardo Escobar. Pogo Power de la Pica for Kevin's Models and more. Star player, Pedro Martinez, Hall of Famer. Don Mattingly, star player. Cal Ripken Jr., Hall of Famer. Um, Tyler Flowers with the Braves, star player. Manny Ramirez, Dwight Gooden. Uh, Freddie Galvis, uh, Manny Ramirez, Daryl Strawberry, Don Baylor. Will Clark, Fernando Valenzuela, Greg Maddox, Greg Maddox, Greg Maddox, and Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. All right, the Hall of Famers are trying to make a rebound here. You put the other Ozzy in, uh, you put the other Ozzy in the Hall of, well, Ozzy Smith is a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Hold on, Ozzy Smith. Didn't I put Ozzy Smith? Ozzy Smith. Lee Smith. Lee Smith's a Hall of Famer too, right? Yep, Lee Arthur Smith. Okay, hold on a second here. Stop the show. <laughs> Let's see. Make sure I didn't miss an Ozzy Smith. I was I was thinking about that for a half a second here. I don't think I missed an Ozzy Smith here, did I? I don't want to shortchange you guys. I want to get it right. Yeah, Ozzy Smith is in the Hall of Fame. That's the Hall of Fame stack there. Let me just make sure I did not miss any other Ozzy Smiths. Strawberry Negro Grace, Grace, Ozzy Guillen is not in the Hall of Fame. Um, as far as Canseco, Mauer, Canseco, Maddie Lee, Ramirez, Ramirez, Mauer, Gooden, Clark, Griff, Guillen, Clemens, Gooden, 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 Colon, Ventura, Ventura, Abreu, Beckett, Napoli, yeah, I think I, I thought I got it right. That's fine. Don't mind checking. Just double checking to make sure. All right, let's continue on here. Andrew Benatendi, Lloyd Wainer, Lloyd Wainer is a Hall of Famer. John McGraw, John McGraw, Hall of Famer. Now, all the Diamond Kings aren't necessarily Hall of Famers, uh, but star players, for sure, for the most part. Chuck Klein. Chuck Klein is a Hall of Famer. Don DiMaggio, Joe, Di Joe DiMaggio's brother. Harry Walker. Harry Walker. Star player. we got Rick Farrell, Early Wynn, Burley Grimes, Early Wynn. Tom Lasorda, Satchel Page, Yogi Berra, and Luke Appling. So the Hall of Famers are trying to make a comeback here. You'll see. Carl Yastrzemski, Hall of Famer. Yes. Jose Urena, Lloyd Wainer. Hall of Famer, Wainer. George Kelly, Hall of Famer, George 
Kelly, Nolan Arenado, star player, Jose Altuve, Cal Ripken Jr. Awesome. Uh, Johnny Pesky. Pesky. Star player, Tommy John. Ken Griffey Jr. says of Hanley Ramirez. Put this Ken Griffey Jr. slide in next to Cal Ripken Jr.'s here. For my two favorite PC player separations. And then uh, Wally Moon and Virgil Trucks. Wally Moon, I don't believe, is, and Wally Trucks either. Are both star players. Look at that Hall of Famer run. <laughs> All right, so then we've got uh, Stop the Show. Yep, there's snuck one in for us again. So we got to do a preview. Uh, a coming attractions for our people and places set. Stop the show. Commercial interruption. Elizabeth Montgomery. Everybody know what Elizabeth Montgomery is known for? She's an actress. I'll wait for a response in the chat. Elizabeth Montgomery, Golden Age. Bum, bum, bum. Card number 81 of 2012, Panini, Elizabeth Montgomery. <laughs> She's not a Hall of Fame. She's going to go in the star player stack, though, because she is a star, an actress star. Though best remembered as Samantha Stevens as a nose-twitching portrayed that earned her five Emmy nominations for Best Actress in a Comedy Series over eight seasons as Bewitched. Montgomery was equally gifted in dramatic roles. Among her most memorable was an axe-wielding murderess in The Legend of Lizzie Borden, a 1975 film that earned her an Outstanding Lead Actress nomination. Coincidentally, a genealogist later determined that Borden and Montgomery were sixth cousins, once removed. Oh yes, I know who she is, Bewitched. <laughs> so there you go, Elizabeth Montgomery, a sneak peek preview for our People and Place, Places series that is going to be taking place on Tuesdays starting next week. Will be our People and Places series. Okay, so our, as we continue on here now, I bought 2,000 Maddoxes from someone. Oh, my word, Bipster. 2,000 Greg Maddoxes? Um, Hack Wilson. Hack Wilson is a Hall of Famer. Uh, Jim Presley with the Mariners. Dick Williams with the Mariners. That isn't Williams... Dick Williams is in the Hall of Fame. Dick Williams. Dick Williams. Uh, Nick Markakis, star player. Is that Johnny Damon? Uh, Ryan Zimmerman. Mickey Lowick. Mickey Lowick. Okay, star player. Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. And Greg Maddox. Now on to our finale here. As we move on to our finale here. We move her right here. Actually, so you can see her. I'll cover up my emblem for now there. And my Mariners. And, oh, that's right. We didn't find any Sean Greens yet. But that's okay. And then we've got our Ken Griffey Jr., Cal Ripken Jr. Let's finish off things here. Joe Jackson as well. Okay, so Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. Uh, Charlie Gehringer. Charlie Gehringer. 
is a Hall of Famer. Luis Aparicio, Don Drysdale, Drysdale, Hall of Famer. Kovaleski, Kovaleski, Stanley Kovaleski is a Hall of Famer. Rick Farrell, Rick Farrell, Hall of Famer. Uh, Chris Sale, Max Scherzer, Yastrzemski, Yastrzemski, Ken Griffey Jr. says of Ryan Braun, Ken Griffey Jr. says of Jimmy Rollins, Ken Griffey Jr. says of oh, Fancy Mother of Maddox, huh? uh, Lance Berkman, Ken Griffey Jr. says, Derek Jeter says of Josh Hamilton, Ken Griffey Jr. says of Hunter Pence, and last but not least, Willie Adamas. Oh, my word. It's going to be a close call. You know what happens if we end up with a tie, right? If we end up with a tie, we are looking pretty close. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it's still, it's a pretty close call. get these all lined up real quick for you here. All right, and we will commence the, the ballot counting. Hint, hint, and we'll commence the ballot counting. Gonna be a pretty close call. Who? Uh, Farrell is a Hall of Famer. Farrell? Let me check real quick. Let me look at my master list. Did I miss one? Rick Farrell. I thought I put Rick Farrell over here. Didn't I put Rick, Rick Farrell over here? I did put Rick Farrell. Farrell is a Hall of Famer. I put him over here, Derek Ripster. He is in the Hall of Fame stack. I don't think I put him over here, did I? Let me double check. Ripster thinks I put Farrell in the wrong stack. don't have a Farrell in here that I'm aware of. Wally Moon, Virgil Trucks, Tommy John, Pesky, Classy Sandy, Stay Classy San Diego, Ron Burgundy. I don't think I put a Farrell over here, did I, Bebster? Will Farrell. <laughs> Will Farrell. Huh? Let's see, Farrell. No, the only Farrell is Richard Farrell. And Richard Farrell is right there. Rick Farrell. Richard. Richard Rick Farrell. Okay. And it, did I get that right or wrong? Will Farrell. Boomslang says Will Farrell. Alright, so we are going to commence the counting process. We will do the stars first since they are on top. Okay, so let's, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty. Sorry. There we go. Turn that notification sound off. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. Seventy-seven for the stars. And let's count our Hall of Famers up now. All right, let's count.
count our Hall of Famers next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 74 Hall of Famers. So the stars won. So let's go with the first round first and see how many people chose the stars. The stars won for the most cards. So it was a close one, 77 to 74. So let's see. Big Ray chose stars. Who else chose stars? Bipster chose the stars. Bipster chose the stars. Uh, Jay went with the stars. Uh, Kevin chose the stars. Kevin chose the stars. Uh, da, 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 da. Big Ray. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, stars. Uh, cards chose stars. And Michael Heath Silver Bull chose Hall of Fame like me. Hall of Fame 68, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Hall, Hall of Fame. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. So, hold on a second. Uh, okay. So let's see. So. You guys tell me if I got this right. Big Ray got stars, Bip got stars, Jay got stars, Kevin got stars, and Cards in My Car with R. Posada chose stars. Okay, now, uh, let me go back through now. And who got the closest? It looks like uh, Big Ray got within one on the stars. I think. Big Ray most likely has it. He got within one on the stars of 77. And for the Hall of Famers, who got the closest? Who got the closest on... Let me see, where is... Okay, come on. Okay, hold on. I gotta get up here and find out where it did. Hold on a second. Oh, here we go. Here is our listing here. So, who, let's see, so, so it was 74 for Hall of Famers. Who got it close, closest to uh, Bipster? What was your choice there, Bipster? Hold on. Let me go through the, the numbers, choices. Bip, let's see, Hall of Famer, 74. Oh, boom, Bipster nailed it. Bipster nailed it with 74s for the Hall of Famers. He got it right on the nose for plus five.
for Bipster. Right on the nose. So Bipster got six entries. Big Ray got one. Big Ray got within one. He almost nailed it. So Big Ray, Bipster, a big, a big Ray nailed the stars within one. So he gets a bonus entry and he gets an entry for choosing the stars. Bipster got an entry for choosing stars. Jay and Kevin and cards. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So let me go into our Wheel of Names. I'll give everybody an update for tomorrow. We are going to be getting close to our fifth tier. Two months in a row by if we reach full 500 entries. Remember, there are other ways to get free entries into the Wheel of Names. Uh, it's kind of like buying a lottery ticket. Uh, you can, for uh, If you give me a super chat in the channel, uh, depending on the dollar level, that's how many entries you get into the Wheel of Names. So if you give a $5 super chat, you get five entries. Do the math. <laughs> but let me, real quick, let me get all our entries in here for, uh, let's see, Bipster. So Bipster's got six entries. Bipster has got seven entries. Okay. And then, uh, what else we got here? We've got Big Ray's got two for getting the closest to the stars in numbers within one. Okay. So, um, Big Ray's got two entries. Big Ray, let me get your two entries in here quick. And then we'll get ready to pull those out the screen for today and give you a heads up on what we're going to do tomorrow. All right, so Big Ray's got his two entries. Uh, Dipster's got his already on Jay Thompson. Let me get your entry in here, Jay. And we've got uh, Kevin's Models in Mind has got another free entry. And lastly is Cards in My Car with Arposada was the big free entry getter today, overall most likely. All right. And we have 471 entries. So tomorrow, if we can get 29 more entries tomorrow, we will reach the 500 plateau on our Wheel of Names. Me, I want to check one thing real quick to make sure what I did put in my... Uh, Just to make sure I'm giving you the right information for tomorrow. I know I said you had to be present to win for the monthly giveaway. And I'm thinking if I remember right, I think it's one entry per person. Or one winner per person. So that we can have five different winners. But let me just double check me to, to, so I don't give you wrong information. Let me go into my About Me tab and what I when I updated it. Dun, 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 dun. No. Let's see if I put it in the community tab. Yeah, let's see. Uh, all Patreon members and channel members get automatically automatic entry into the 2021 monthly giveaways. Each dollar super chat counts as an entry into the monthly giveaway. For example, $2 equals two entries, five, blah, 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 etc., etc. 
kind of like a raffle ticket process, depends on the dollar amount, extra entries for that month. Just something extra each month to give back to the community. First minute or two in the live chat, or as I announce, in the first minute or two, you will earn an entry into the monthly giveaway for that live stream. Five entry maximum per live stream for the freebies at the first and live. Possible trivia questions answered correctly the last day of the month will be announced when the end of the month drawing is alert. And it says alert, 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 alert in my community tab. Starting for the month of June, you need to be present in the end of the month drawing unless you are a channel member or a Patreon. Trying to be fair and balanced to my loyal subscribers. Hope to see you in the live stream when you are able to be there. So yes, you can win more than month. And the only ones that are excused from not being in the live stream for the drawing is if you're a channel member or a Patreon member. Okay? Rules totally explained. If you do want to, you can check out my community tab and my posts there. As a post is not relevant anymore, I do remove them from my stream. And I do have a list of my current channel members uh, in the channel, which is just uh, a few, four to be exact. Um, but yes, other than that, hopefully you all enjoyed the day today. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream. Congratulations to all those people that got their free entries into today's. And Bipster is saying, so stop the show. What stopped the show? Oh, if we get 500 entries, I will throw in a prize of an Acuna rookie. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, did Posada get, um, okay. So Posada got the stars away. I was one away, by, I believe. Uh, da, 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 da. If we get, uh, see my comment, last comment, now. Uh, Posada got stars on the nose, I think, with 78. I chose 79. I think he gets the extra entry, not me. Oh, so if Posada got it right, Okay, so I, I see what you're saying. Hold on a second. Let me go back. So did, uh, see, Pipster got, so for the stars, are you saying that he got 77 on the nose? Okay, hold on. Let me check real quick here. Big raise. Uh, let me scroll up here. Oh, uh, no cards in my car says 78. Actually, Big Ray, if if you said, what was your guess there, Big Ray? Big Ray, Big Ray, Big Ray, Big Ray. Yes, Michael. Big Ray, Big Ray, Big Ray. 79. Oh, okay. And... Card to my car said 78, so he was actually closer, right? So that's an easy fix. I'll just switch the one entry for yours, Big Ray, and give it to Cards in My Car. Copy. Easy fix. Thanks, Big Ray, for bringing that to my attention. Appreciate you, buddy. Matter of fact, uh, There we go. Okay, I've got that fixed right now. Let me save that really quick. Appreciate your honesty there, Big Ray. 
Mucho gracias, apreciato. All right. So now Bipster was saying, stop the show, stop the show. Um, Posada had 78. Uh, Big Ray had 79. Posada wins. Gotcha. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. I fixed it. We're good to go now. Appreciate the honesty. Uh, let's see. Big Ray says stop the show. Got your comment. Bipster said stop the show. He he put in if we get to 500 entries, which we have a pretty good chance tomorrow. We'll see. Might even get some super chats tomorrow that will bring us up above the 500 level. So we will see what happens tomorrow. But yes, if anybody sees Robert Hain tomorrow, I am going to be... He was instrumental in me getting... A 1983 uh, baseball card set add to my PC that was uh, honest as the day is Ling by Big Ray kudos <laughs> all right so appreciate that so I can dispose of these numbers now that is all in the books appreciate that appreciate everybody being here today and again, we will be doing the 1983 Topps baseball card set tomorrow for our baseball set review on Wednesdays. And then it will be followed, unless there is another family mail call package that comes in today, not expecting anything, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge. But um, other than that, we will have a great day. Same bat time, same bat channel. He is aware Robert is. Okay. So everything is good to go as far as I can tell on the stream. So this has been Donald Blumbaugh, Hall of Fame Veterans Sports Cards and Collectibles. Having been live to you from Arlington, Washington with our Episode 12, Looney Tune Tuesday, 1992 Upper Deck Comic Ball Series three binder uh why does it say one of two it should have been two of two i thought i changed it to two of two i'll have to edit that really quick here um but it is the final episode of looney tune tuesday so starting new tuesday new tuesday next tuesday we will have a people and places series from our card collection okay so until then you all take care Lord bless you, and as Bipster says in all of his videos when he ends, as I do always, and it's not just words, be blessed. We'll see you all tomorrow. Take care and have a wonderful Wednesday, Tuesday.